It starts off that Lord Ivan was a former Black Knight as well as a self-proclaimed son of Zamorak who was known to be a skilled swordsman. He was led in the battle of the White Knights versus the Black Knights which was actually led by Sir Amic Vars. He was later resurrected by a witch named Cardia who found his corpse. Cardia was able to resurrect Ivan by tearing off some of his skin and placing it on a doll which resembled his likeness. Next, she required a sample of blood which Ivan no longer had due to his corpse having rotted away. To combat this, Cardia traveled far until she reached an underground cavern with a distant land known as the Underground Pass. The Underground Pass is known as a labyrinth with evil buried in every corner. It houses many different traps which can kill the uninitiated very quickly with little effort. In addition, when Lord Ivan eventually gains rule of his kingdom of the underworld, he tasks adventurers with a test that will cause them to succumb to a looming evil which does not allow them to descend further into the underground pass without making them judge their morals. Lord Ivan requires that you kill a unicorn as well as the Knights of Saradomen, otherwise progressing further into the dungeon is impossible. After exploring the treacherous terrain of the Underground Pass, Cardia killed a yellow spider who was led by a giant arachnid named Kelrag. After killing the spider, she smeared its blood on the doll. To give Ivan the essence of life, Cardia performed Incantia, an ancient dark ritual that nearly killed her within the process. After a while, she recovered and prayed thanks to three demons, Dumian, Othanian, and Holtheon, who in turn bound themselves to this doll as guardians of Ivan's shadow. After his resurrection, he retired to the Underground Pass and treated it as his kingdom until he was later slain by the hero. For the final part of the ritual, the witch needed to provide Ivan with a conscience. For this, she found a dove in a cage. This dove represented peace and innocence. She then killed the bird, which represented Ivan's conscience, innocence corrupted by evil. Ivan was then resurrected and he set up home in his temple in the Underground Pass. He became a lunatic and he corrupted the Well of Voyage, which was used as a teleport to the Elven Lands. He began to gain followers, sort of like a cult. He started to corrupt anyone who entered the past by whispering to them. Anyone who succumbed to his role would join his army of soulless. The King of East Ardoin wanted to unite with an evil elf clan in the Elven Lands. This clan wanted to help resurrect the Dark Lord. In return, Lord Iowerth, the leader of that clan, would help the King of East Ardi kill his nemesis, which was King Arthur. In order to unite with the Elf Clan in the Elven Lands, Ivan needed to be defeated so that the Well of Voyage would be uncorrupt. The ritual that the Witch conducted was the only thing that could defeat Ivan. The King of Ardoin recruited a hero to travel through the Underground Pass, defeat Ivan, and uncorrupt the Well of Voyage so that the path to the Elven Lands where the King's brother resided would be reopened. The hero was accompanied by a man named Kofting. Both were overwhelmed by Ivan's voices, but eventually they reached Ivan's temple. The hero discovered the hut of Cardia the Witch and stole her diary which contained the ritual to defeat Ivan. They also found the doll of Ivan itself. They then defeated Kelrag, the giant spider, for Ivan's blood. The hero then found a dwarf named Clink, who originally came seeking ore. The dwarf was corrupted by the evils of the past. This dwarf gave the hero a pair of gauntlets, so that the hero could not be bitten by the soulless when searching their cages for the dove's corpse. They then created the body inside Ivan's coffin and used the ashes as his flesh. They then obtained Ivan's shadow from the three demons and they enchanted the doll. After they confronted Ivan, they threw the doll into the corrupt well which destroyed Ivan. The king and his mages then restored the well of voyage, fully reopening the path to the elven lands.